Hey y'all, this is Brooke here from Large Family Homestead, and today we're gonna can beef broth. So you're gonna wanna start by putting a lot of bones into a stock pot. Um, we do ours extremely concentrated so that we can use less cans when we make soup and things. So we're gonna use a lot of bones and I'll probably cook it for a much longer than you need to. Next, you want to fill your, fill your stock pot with some good quality filtered water. And then after it's all full, you can go ahead and set it on the stove. I save my onion peels and ends to put into the broth to give it some flavor. And I'm also going to add garlic, and I'll probably add salt and pepper, but I'm going to do that later. Once your broth has cooked for as long as you want it to, I cook mine for usually 24 hours, which I know is long, but like I said, we like ours very, very strong, so we can just add water to it later. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and strain the bones out. Usually I start by using the strainer to scoop all of the big bones out, and then afterwards, I will pour it through a strainer into a, another pot. And as you can see, that pot was just not big enough, so I had to pull another smaller one out to finish the job. Now if you don't have a fat skimming tool, like me, you can go ahead and just put your uh, pot of broth in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours until the fat hardens on the top and then you can just go ahead and scoop it out and put it in a jar. And you guys can use this fat for lots of different things. Um, we usually like to do ours because we like to make our own hash browns out of fresh potatoes. We usually use chicken and beef fat to cook them in, which is really good.
know how much of a mess I made going in and pouring that broth into the cans. But then I remembered that it was late at night and I was in a rush. <laughs> can any kind of bone broth at 10 pounds of pressure, 20 minutes for pints, and 25 minutes for quarts. And there you have it, canned bone broth. Thanks y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who wants to make it. See you guys soon.